It can be the best decision of my life or it can be the worst decision of my life. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. and I decided to give myself a haircut. There is something that I trust less than my hands and it's hairstylist. I have a trauma about my hair. I don't know if I'm super unlucky about hairstylist, but I was trying different prices. I was going from the cheapest hairstylist to the most expensive hairstylist and I never liked what they were doing to my hair. So I was like 11, 12, I went to a hairstylist and I wanted this like fancy hairstyle. My reference was this, but when I got out of the hair salon, my hair looked like this. That was my first disappointment and after I decided that I'm not experimenting with my hairs anymore, I'm just gonna keep it straight, but I think I'm ready. <laughs> It can be the best decision of my life or it can be the worst decision of my life and the scariest thing that today I'm going to the birthday party <laughs> and whatever I'm gonna do to my hairs today I'm going like this I think we all saw this crazy viral video about a girl giving herself like an incredible haircut and what do you think? I found a long YouTube tutorial from her how to do this step by step. I watched it, it looked pretty easy. I have no idea how it will turn out. Let's try it out. It's time to be risky, girls. If I never try, I never know. Maybe it's gonna be actually the best hairstyle for me. I stole haircut set from Brian. I think he used this to trim his beard or something, to cut his beard, but it's gonna be for my hair tonight. Tonight, to morning. I probably need to cover myself with the towel because I'm filming on my bed. Let's start with the tutorial. However thick you want these sections of hair will be determined by the size of the triangle that you cut in initially. So I'm just gonna go in with a sort of like medium. Okay, first I'm starting with the making the straight line right here. I think it's very important to not have this. The lip gloss for the haircut process is the worst idea. Let me take it off. Ah! What I like about this haircut, you don't really touch your back part, you're just creating volume right here and even if I mess up a lot and do something wrong, it's not gonna affect the length of my hair and I think it would be fixable at least in some time. Ah! I feel like I'm already regretting whatever I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put this hair out of the way and then I'm going to take the hair and brush it forwards. I feel like that's a good length because when it dries it's going to bounce up a little bit and I don't want it to be super short. It's not going to be a proper daisy fringe. Okay, I think this is the straightest I can go. If you want, it's completely up to you. You can point cut that, just like this, if you're worried about it being too harsh, often any sharp lines that might be there. Um, okay, I think it's a little too long. I should do this a little shorter. <laughs> I have bangs! Hers looks shorter though, but I don't want to do shorter because I feel like it's not gonna look good. So now I'm gonna work on the next section. Basically what we're doing now, we're just taking more This. But I kind of feel more comfortable now doing this. I have a good feeling about this. It's not that straight again. How the hell she's making that straight line? Okay, and I'll take a, oh, no. a section. No. That's too much. And then what I'm gonna do is, so where this angle of my parting is, I'm gonna pull the hair forwards in that exact angle oh, and I'm going to bring it all It's not straight again! Help anybody! And here I can see the guide underneath from the hair that I cut last time Let that be your guide and of course also the middle section is going to obviously be your guide and that's going to be like the starting off point And then I'm just going to take my next section Okay, it's not I don't think I did it right. I have no idea what I'm doing. Whew. Okay, I don't like it. It's 
not so bad, right? <laughs> Let's see. Let's try another side. I mean, that's my first time. I'm not expecting it to be perfect. I just don't want it to look horrible. This one is longer, right? Actually, no. They look kind of the same. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? You never know the final result. You can see it here. But this time, when it comes to cutting it, I'm going to come on top of my fingers and I'm going to exaggerate the angle so I'm not just following the guide again so now I'm starting at the guide I'm going to come in on top and I'm going to exaggerate the... the I'm going to exaggerate it <laughs> and if it falls out like that it doesn't matter just go back in I feel like my hair is too dry for all the situation I need to wet them Again, it's better because it's really hard to do this on dry hairs because you really don't see what the hell you're doing. I think this is the hardest moment for me because I really can't make the straight lines. What is wrong with my hands? Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you do this like pretty often, you understand how it works right backwards. I kind of I feel proud of myself. Wow! I feel like a hairstylist. <laughs> My hair is so damaged, that's why it's drying so fast, it's incredible. I think the next video I will tell you what happened to my hairs and why they so dry. I did kind of experiment past two months and it was horrible. Looks like she's kind of doing it until the middle of her head like this I don't understand if I should follow the line here or go that more down again or just ah, complicated alert <laughs> can you see that she keep having the same hairs but I need to wet them like five times already I don't understand and now I'm just cutting these bottom part okay she is definitely cutting it lower but, I mean I got the idea how it's supposed to be I think it's pretty angly. And I believe that was this because her hair right here was shorter so she didn't show what to do with this when it's longer. So I guess I just need to go... I hope that's how it was supposed to go. I think it's kind of safe haircut to try. It's way more dangerous to cut your bangs like this and then get them so high up and then not being able to do anything with this. What a day, what a day. Okay, let's do another side. Stop, dry out. Okay, then I'm turning this super. I feel like on this side I have less hairs. Okay, I guess one more piece. Or is it enough? Okay, let's take one more piece. But let's blow it right and let's see how it's gonna look like. For me, it was really important to check that this hairstyle is gonna look good even with straight hairs because I didn't want to spend a lot of time every day just to style my hairs and it kind of looks better, way better than I had it before. And now you can see before and after this haircut. And I also decided to check how it's gonna look with heatless hairstyles because I'm doing them very often and I can say that I'm pretty impressed with the results. This a little too curly, I would say, but it looks pretty good. You really don't see difference in my hair? Just bangs. But you don't see that it's like super different? <laughs> super different. He said I didn't do anything except bangs. Maybe. I'm not even sure. <laughs> 